Sideline, did he make it? Don't bobble it out of bounds, says the line judge. up to the right side. They'll run it up the middle and Trey Sharp has stopped. Great defensive job for the tri-front line. And in motion to the left side. He'll roll to the right and being chased by Isaiah Stevens. Now throw that ball in the end zone. Knocked away and that is intercepted by the tribe of the end zone. Aaron Swinton comes up with a huge interception on the errant pass by Brian Shore, and the Tribe defense comes off celebrating. <laughs> Practice the rugby style kick uh, this week. Let's see how he does here, and there it goes. That's pretty well hit. Back in a great defensive effort. The special teams come through. That's Jordan Lowry, the first man downfield. And uh, I like that rugby style kick. Dukes have the football for the second time. Their first drive was cut short on an interception in the end zone. And that one, quarterback Brian Shore tries to take it himself on that zone read. And the tribe read that one pretty well. out to the right side, now throw on the run complete to Klaus, that's a first down, first first down of the afternoon for the Tribe.
run that ball, and he's upended. Nice defensive play by big number 94, Joe Suarez. as he throws that football into the end zone. That ball's gonna be picked off. Second pick of the day for the drive. This one will come back away. That's Barta across the 30 and out to the 32 yard line as Mike Barta excites this capacity crowd with the second pick of the day in the end zone for the green and gold defense. and he is smothered. That's Will Kiley, the true freshman out of Downingtown, PA, with a nice tackle for a loss there for the green and gold. And a ball on the belly of Trey Sharp, and he's hit, and right at the line, the original line of scrimmage, and they'll get him quickly. Nothing doing for the James Madison Dukes on that occasion. Drive showing a blitz, here comes Delaney. That ball's gonna be lofted downfield, one-on-one -on -one coverage and slapped away by Ray Sean Smith. out of bounds across the way. Marshall again tries to bounce out and Mike Barta came up and made a heck of a play on a tackle for loss by safety Mike Barta who already has an interception today. Quarterback will fake the handoff to Marshall, be hit in the backfield and now finally dropped, throws that ball away. The quarterback Back to pass, make a throw to the right, now looking over the middle, now being chased again, and this time they get him. Matt Ahola and company with a quarterback sack deep in the backfield. Coming up also Josh Delaney, the first man in there, and the Tribe defense has played well. New quarterback in the game. Brandon Battle, he'll hand the football off to Nate Evans across the 25 and out to the 27 yard line. I'll throw it to the right side, quarterback, and he's going to go down. Matahola with a quarterback sack right there. 58, Matahola out of Springfield, Virginia, with a big QB sack. Four down lineman for William & Mary. Back to pass in the pocket over the middle. Ball's knocked away nicely. That time Aaron Swinton came up from behind and swatted it away from the intended receiver. And now it's fourth down. Second 
down and seven to go. Battle back to pass, throwing it right side, complete right at that uh, yard marker, and that's a first down for William & Mary at the 47-yard line. Marcus Marshall alongside of him, and in motion, he'll go that way and now look back to the right side of the field. Now, again, Shore gonna be tackled to the backfield. Gavin Johnson got him. Nice defensive play by Johnson. That thwarts the two-point conversion. tackles maybe convert uh move the chains by himself we see him take it here on by himself and does pick up a first down and rolls over a couple of defenders for james madison out to the 44 yard line the drive offense is coming up with some pace throw out right side that ball is going to be caught good blocking downfield and there he goes inside the 40 down to the 36 yard line six seconds on the play clock and they'll get the play off and the quarterback will hand off and Funderburk's got some nice running room inside the 30 and down to the 28 yard line. in today's game with that uh, rugby kick and here's another one it's a low kick but it will take a big William and Mary bounce and that's going to be picked up by Miller who goes right up the middle he's got some running room 50 40 30 yard line got one man to beat and he did not beat him but he's thrown down at the 21 yard line Back will run the ball himself, and Gavin Johnson grabs him by the ankles and does not let go. Gavin Johnson with a quarterback sack for the green and gold. and runs right into Will Kiley, who's having the game of his life against an outstanding offensive unit, James Madison. Will Kiley, another tackle for loss. Reed and 
and he read it nicely. McKee dived for it for the first down inside the 40 and down to the 37-yard line. Down and 11. McKee back to pass in the pocket, throwing it downfield, in and out, and into the hands of a tri player. That's Jordan Lowry who will get into the end zone for the score. Touchdown, William and Mary, as the drive on the board with 10 11 left in this ball game. And finally, a tip pass goes to the hands of a tri player. out of Virginia Beach's Cox High School, the junior, will roll to his left and throw it downfield. He has a man, and reaching up, making the grab, yes, was Jack Armstrong. The junior out of Morgantown, West Virginia, makes a whale of a catch. Might go. Noah Giles, huge hole, 40. He's at the 30, trying to get the edge of the 10, five into the end zone. Touchdown, William and Mary, as Noah Giles gets in for the second time this year. And that is a 65 yard play, the longest run from scrimmage this year for the tribe. today 
away from Zabel Stadium on homecoming 2017. The Dukes of JMU 46 and the Tribe of William & Mary 14.